In this video, I am going to look at extending how we priced options on a binomial tree. So previously, we had set up a binomial tree with one step. So basically, we'd assume we have this market, stock price was 52, and we'd assumed it could either go to 55 or 49. We knew risk-free interest rates were 5%, and we were able to price a call option, again with a strike of 52 and a maturity of three months, under these constraints. And in this particular version of pricing, we calculated the risk-neutral probabilities, and we found the probability of the stock going from 52 to 55 in three months was 60.90, and the risk-neutral probability of the stock going down to 49 was 39.10, and we were able to find a call price 1.8043. Now this is not a particularly realistic scenario, and I'm going to try to add a little bit of more realism and at least suggest a way to make it more realistic. So one of the problems with this is there are only two possible outcomes for this stock. So what I'm going to do now is extend this model to a two-step binomial tree. I'm going to set it up so that it on the same option, same market, and so that the 55 and 49 still appear in our tree. So let me redraw my picture and start over. So here's our picture. I've made it a little bit bigger. So the stock starts at 52. And now I'm going to add a time step halfway in between the beginning, which we've got a time zero, and the end, which is time 0.25, which means we're going to add a time step at 0.125, or an eighth of a year. <clears throat> and I'm adding a slice in my tree. So I'm going to add two nodes at time 0.125, and then I'm also going to add one more node at time 0.25. So we can see that here. And so we're going to figure out how to price in this tree. Now, remember, when we compute P, the probability, that P is e to the r delta t, size of the time step, or in our case, 0.125, minus d over u minus d. And so if we choose a tree such that u and d are the same everywhere, then P is going to be the same everywhere. Now, what I'd like to do is choose u and d so that I end up at 55 and 49. So s times u squared is 55, and s times d squared is 49. And you can see we get to the s times u squared by going through the node at s times u. And if you go from up from s times u, you end up at s times u squared. If you go down, you end up at s times u times d. So we're going to choose u equal to the square root of 55 or 52, which is 1.0284, and that means s times u squared, s is 52, times u squared is going to give us 55 at that top node on the right. We're going to choose d similarly, equal to 49 over 52, or 0.9707. And we can find p now, e to the r, r is 5%, delta t is 0.125, minus d over u minus d is 61.65. And 1 minus p is 38.35. And now we can simply work through and compute all the stock levels. So s times u is 53.48. s times u squared, 55. s times d, 50.48. s times u times d, 51.91. s times d squared, 49. So now we have our tree. Now the strategy for valuing an option on a two-step binomial tree is as follows. We know the last slice on the far right is where the option expires, and we know how to value the option here. So the value of the option on the far right side of our tree is going to be the maximum of ST, the terminal stock price, minus the strike, and zero. So when the stock is at 55, the option's worth three. The stock's at 51.91, the option's worth zero. When the stock's at 49, the option's also worth zero. Now we work our way from right to left through our tree. So we're going to think about the middle of that slice. And here what we do is we treat each 
node in the middle slice as having a single binomial tree to the right of it. So you can see that node 53.48 has a small one-step binomial tree to the right. Now we know the value of the derivative is p times du plus 1 minus p times dd e to the minus r delta t. We know the value of p 0.6165 or 61.65 percent. So now we can work through our tree. The value of the option at the node where the stock is 53.48 is 1.84. 0.6165 times 3 plus 0.3835 times 0 all multiplied by e to the minus rt. The value of the option at the node 50 point, where the stock is 50.48 is, of course, zero because every node to the right of that, the option is worth zero. Now we can do the same thing for the first node. So again, we can look at this as if the stock, we have a one-step tree going from 52 up to 53.48 or 52 down to 50.48. We use exactly the same formula, d equals p times du plus 1 minus p times dd e to the minus r delta t, and we find that the value of the option is 1.13. And so now we have priced on a two-step tree this call option with a strike of 52 and a maturity of a quarter of a year.